Welcome to Issues in Japan. New Paper Money Triggers. How to protect your assets from the financial crisis and hyperinflation that will hit Japan in 2024. A major financial shock may occur in 2024. I would like tentatively to share the article contents of the Money Voice dated April 4. What will happen in 2024 is that a new banknote will be issued for the first time in 20 years. Some believe that this will be the occasion for an asset taxation. Now, as you all know, the outstanding debt of the Japanese government bonds is ballooning. At the end of 2021, it has surpassed 1,220 trillion yen, which is close to 260% of GDP. This is because 40% of the national budget is debt, and the debt has continued to grow every year until today. How much more can the debt be inflated? The current situation in Japan is that the value of the Japanese yen has been continuously exposed to the possibility of a sudden collapse of its value every year. In response to the new coronavirus, The amount of government bonds issued has also been increased, as if to follow the MMT, modern monetary theory. The Bank of Japan is in a de facto state of fiscal finance by buying up all the government bonds of financial institutions. This is an extremely dangerous situation that could lead to a loss of confidence in Japanese government bonds at any moment. Looking at the world, The Russian ruble has plunged due to the invasion of Ukraine, and the Japanese yen is also on a downtrend among the world's currencies. Regardless of the global contingency of Russia invading Ukraine, contingency buying of the Japanese yen has not occurred. In Japan, the debt has accumulated to 1,220 trillion yen, more than twice the GDP. And it is no longer an amount that could be repaid by any means. Needless to say, Japan is facing the possibility of default at some point in the future. In order to reduce the debt before this happens, the government has no choice but to take away the people's wealth or to reduce the burden through inflation. However, one wrong move could lead to a super depreciation of the yen and hyperinflation. This is a frightening story because some people predict that this property taxation on the people will be implemented in 2024. Why is this? Because in 2024, new banknotes will be issued for the first time in 20 years. The government calls this a reprinting from the viewpoint of preventing counterfeit bills. But what if a deposit blockade is imposed at the time of the issuance of these new bills, making the old bills unusable? And a compulsory property tax is imposed by exchanging the current 10,000 yen for the new 5,000 yen? How would you feel if your savings of 10 million yen were to be taken away from you by the government and reduced to 5 million yen? Of course, these things are done without notice. In fact, The same thing happened in the past with the deposit blockade and the new yen switch that took place immediately after the defeat in the war. The government can cut off as much as 50% of the nation's assets, saying, We need to flush out all the cabinet savings and the tax evading underground money. Alternatively, if only the rich who have more than a certain amount of assets, deposits, real estate, and bonds, are targeted and their property confiscated, public dissatisfaction can be suppressed to some extent. For this purpose, the government has recommended the My Number Card for the purpose of ascertaining the wealth of the people. They will also strengthen the linkage of people's deposits. Deposit blockade and asset taxation are the measures to forcibly deprive people of their assets by forcing them to withdraw only a certain amount of money from their savings without any notice. In the past, asset taxation, immediately after the defeat in World War II, taxed not only deposits but also stocks, real estate, bonds, and even gold at rates as high as 25% to 90%. Depending on the amount of assets, thereby bringing down the wealthy. The purpose of this tax was to quell inflation after the war's end, but in the end, inflation did not abate, rather, 
It became hyperinflationary, and government bonds became as good as paper. If the tax rate at the time of the asset taxation in 1946 is converted to today's value, calculated at 500 times, the minimum tax rate is 25% for those with net assets of 50 million yen, 55% for those with net assets of 100 million yen, 65% for those with net assets of 1 billion yen. And 90% for those with net assets of 7.5 billion yen, and so on. In other words, the wealthy at that time had from nearly 30% to 90% of their assets confiscated. The tax rate may seem extremely high. But in the event of hyperinflation, when prices rose by 50 to 100 times, net worth would be reduced by 1 50th to 100th, so asset taxation was still better than hyperinflation. However, in the four post war years only, prices in Japan increased 140 fold. In other words, the wealthy were hit with a double whammy because of the high rate of asset taxation and the hyperinflation that hit them at the time. Of course, the general public were also hit hard by hyperinflation. Moreover, this asset taxation alone was not enough to cancel the debt of wartime government bonds, which amounted to 200% of GDP at the time. In the end, the government bonds that were overspent during the war were actually cancelled out through hyperinflation. To defend your net assets against the deposit blockade and asset taxation, it is important to first hold US dollars in overseas bank deposits. This is because even if you deposit dollars in Japanese financial institutions, they will be captured as assets. Investing in real estate in the US is also a good idea. However, the National Tax Administration Bureau in Japan requires the submission of a foreign assets report every year if you have overseas holdings of 50 million yen or more. Failure to submit the report is punishable by imprisonment for up to one year or a fine of up to 500,000 yen, and if deemed malicious, then imprisonment for up to five years or a fine of up to 5 million yen, while a late report due to non filing is quite expensive, with large overdue tax, additional tax for non filing, and heavy additional tax imposed. It is safe to hold overseas assets to the extent that they are not subject to regulations. Gold, a real asset, is also recommended if you want to keep it at home. But gold does not earn interest and may melt in a fire or be stolen if you are not careful about where you store it. Gold is also useful even in the case of hyperinflation. Since the value of gold remains the same even if the value of money, The yen is reduced to one fiftieth of its original value. The huge debt on real estate will also be reduced with hyperinflation. And mega landlords will be able to sell their gold to pay off the remaining loan balance. The government, which can cancel its government bond debt, will benefit the most from hyperinflation. But pensioners will be hit the hardest. Gold, stocks, real estate, and foreign currencies, Even domestic deposits are also fundamentally linked to prices. So they will also have an advantage in the event of hyperinflation. In recent years, cashless transactions have been progressing, cash use has been decreasing. And the government has been strengthening the promotion of digitalization in anticipation of inbound consumption after the COVID 19 pandemic. So, why is the government planning to issue new bills in 2024? If you think about it carefully, you cannot deny the odd impression. Now, it is by no means meaningless to be prepared for a deposit blockade or hyperinflation. Now, it is also important to think about replacing your money with more advantageous assets before it loses its value. That's all for now. I have tentatively shared the article contents of the Money Voice dated April 4th, just for your reference. Thank you for your interest.